In this section, we're going to look at formula weights, molecular weight, and percent composition. So a formula weight, you're, when, you're look, when you're trying to calculate a formula, you're really just looking at uh, the sum of the atomic weights for the atoms in the chemical formula. So sometimes we'll just give you, sometimes we'll give you the name, the calcium chloride, and you have to come up with the formula before you um, can figure out what the formula weight's going to be. So calcium chloride, remember how we take the name and write the formula? Calcium is calcium with a two plus charge. The chloride ion has a minus one charge, and then when you crisscross, you get CaCl2. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look this up in the periodic table. I have two uh, chloride, this is an ionic compound. I have two chloride ions, I have one calcium ion. So you're going to go to your periodic table. If you can't remember where we got those charges from, calcium is in a group two, so it has a plus two charge, and chloride is over here, so it's a minus one. Uh, you can't see the uh, noble gas is on, it's getting cut, cut off. But. All right, so we want to look up the atomic weights here for calcium. Let's go to two decimal places. This is 40.08. I'll just round this up to 40.08. And the chloride ion is 35.45. So when we put that in, we get one calcium. We have one calcium um, at 40.08. And we have two chloride ions. We're just going to add these together. Uh, 35.45. So 2 times 35.45 is 70.90. And then 1 times 40.08, it's just 40.08. So we add all those up, you get 110.98. And your units are atomic mass units. Uh, generally, we, we report formula weights for ionic compounds and molecular weights for molecules. So we could do the same thing for a molecule. Let's take an organic compound like, like ethane, which is C2H6, and try to come up with the molecular weight for that. So you follow the same process. Um, so pause the video and, and you can do that yourself. So I have two carbons and I have six hydrogens. Um, so each carbon is 12.01, and each hydrogen is about 1.01. And again, you find all that information in the periodic table over here. So calcium, uh, carbon, 12.0, so it says 12.011. We're just going to go to two decimal places, 12.01. And hydrogen, I'm just rounding that up to 1.01 instead of 1.008. You can do whatever you want. I usually do two decimal places. That way I'm always consistent. Now, you're basically just going to, oh, there we go, <laughs> multiply uh, this one by 6. So we have 6 times 1.01, .01. I have 2 times the 12.01. .01. Add all that up, so this is 6.06, .06. and this is what, 24.02. So then when you add that, you get 30.08, .08. and again, atomic mass units. Those are your units. So that's your final answer. So that's a molecular weight. You calculate the same way as the formula weight. Formula weights are generally for ionic compounds and molecular weights are for molecules. Remember an ionic compound is a metal and non-metal. So let's try a few more. You can work on these on your own. So you can pause the video and try to do sucrose and calcium nitrate. So this is a molecule, so you're gonna find the molecular formula. The, so the formula weight is kind of the um, generic term. You just, this is the only way you can talk about an ionic compound. Um, you can kind of use it interchangeably, molecular weight and formula weight. So the formula weight and the molecular weight is the same for a molecule. Uh, calcium nitrate, you're looking for the, um, the formula weight there. So you follow the same process as we did before. So again, pause the video and try to do this all by yourself. You have 12 carbons. Uh, each carbon is 12.01, again, you get that from the periodic table. Um, that's for carbon. For hydrogen, you have 22, and each one of those is 1.08, I'm oh, sorry, 1.01, atomic mass units. And for oxygen, you have 11 of those, and they are 16.00. So when you work out all of those, multiply 12 times 12.08, 22 times 1.08, 11 times 16, that's funny. And when you add all that up, and again, work this out on your own, do it in baby steps, you should get 342.34 atomic mass units. 
and then do the same thing for calcium nitrate. Be careful with the calcium nitrate. This two here means you have two of the nitrates. You have two nitrogens, now you have six oxygens. Still only have one calcium because that two only gets distributed to whatever's inside the parentheses. So you have a calcium, you have nitrogen, and you have oxygen. You have one calcium, and calcium is 40.08. You have two nitrogens, and each one is 14.01. And you have six oxygens, and each one is 16.00. That's a parentheses there. Um, so when you add all those up, and again multiply, you're going to do six times 16, which is what? 90, 96, and this is 28.02, and this one is 40.08. So when you add all of that up, you get what, 164 atomic mass units. So that's the formula weight for calcium nitrate. So just be careful when you have something outside the parentheses that you distribute it through, and then you're good. Now the very last thing we're going to do in this section is looking at percent composition. And we'll see this come up again later. Um, but if you want to figure out what the mass percent is, so you uh, for a particular with respect to a particular element. So if you wanted to look at um, ethane, we looked at that before, right? We had C two. H6 and you want to know like what percentage of the mass is due to carbon, you would just take, all right, so percent carbon is going to be the number of carbon atoms. I have two carbon atoms. Each one weighs 12.01 atomic mass units. And the formula weight for the whole compound was 30.08. You can look that up in the first exercise that we did. And then if you multiply that by 100, that's how you get the formula weight. So it's the number of atoms times how much each atom weighs divided by the total mass of the uh, of the molecule or the ionic compound. And then when you work that out, you get 79.85%. So almost 80% of the mass of ethane is due to carbon, which kind of makes sense because carbon weighs a lot more than the hydrogen. So even though you have more of those hydrogen atoms, they don't really weigh that much. So most of the mass is due to the carbon.